This is lovely. Uh, my name is John Mullaney, as they said, and uh, I've lived in this city now. I love it. I've lived here for a few years now. And so I have this new phenomenon in my life where, like, uh, late at night on the street, uh, women will see me as a threat. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, that is silly. <laughs> that is silly. It's kind of flattering in its own way, but at the same time, it's weird because, like, I'm still afraid of being kidnapped. <laughs> Honestly. But I'll give you the best example of this. Uh, a few months ago, I was at a subway station at 2 o'clock in the morning, all right? And at this station, I'm changing trains. And you have to walk down this long hallway in order to change trains. So it's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's just me and this woman. And we're walking along. And she's walking a few yards ahead of me. But she keeps giving me, like, uh, like the over-the-shoulder, like that, you know? <laughs> and then she starts to pick up the pace. She starts to walk a lot faster. So I think, oh. She must hear the train coming. <laughs> or, you know, maybe she feels it in her feet like a Native American. So I start, to, I start to sprint down the hallway at her, and she looks back and she's like, ah! And then she gives chase, right? So now we're booking it down the corridor at two o'clock in the morning, and I'm gaining on her. I'm gaining on her, and we're getting to the end of the hallway, and she starts to go into that, like, dead-end shuffle, you know, that women do when you chase them. And I'm almost at her. I'm almost at her, and then it dawns on me. Oh. She's running from me. Because in her eyes, I'm an adult. And adults rape each other. Kind of a lot. So I wanted to go up to her and be like, hey, whoa, no, no. I'm not like a, I'm not like a, I'm not, I'm not a man. I'm some stupid punk, you know? But I think that that would be equally creepy. As if you were in a subway station at two o'clock in the morning and I chased you down, grabbed you and said, I'm not gonna rape you. I'm a little boy. Not good either. Oh, I have drag queens in my neighborhood now. I study them, they're fascinating. Uh, I think it's great. I think it's great if someone wants to be a drag queen. I think that's wonderful if you wanna like express your inner woman. But why with drag queens is it always the same type of woman? Like why is it always like a big and brassy woman? With like a beehive hairdo? and alligator skin shoes. It's like, what is your notion of a woman based on? <laughs> a housewife in a Far Side cartoon? <laughs> Why is that what you think femininity is? And then, uh, these drag queens, they'll go out on the street and they'll bully me. They will. They'll be like, oh, look at him in his little shirt. <laughs> it's like, why are you mean, you know? Why is that part of it for you? And it's not little, it's a medium. Small is little. You went, you went through all the trouble to put on a nice dress, and now you're gonna be rude and bossy to people? It's like, do you know what your version of a lady is a lot like? A guy. <laughs> you could have stayed a guy if you were gonna be an ass about it. Yes. Get angry. <laughs> it's tough to know what to do with your money these days. What was it, just a few days ago? The Dow Jones dropped another 240 points. And I, I, I can't tell you how frustrating it is uh, to not know what that means. 
gets embarrassing. Gets embarrassing. I did see a class advertised, though, where you can learn to get rich from Donald Trump. He will teach you how to get rich. And he would know, wouldn't he? Trump would know. I mean, he's a very rich man. In fact, to me, at this point, uh, Donald Trump, he's like not just a rich man. Donald Trump is like what a hobo imagines a rich man to be. <laughs> you know, it's like he was walking through an alley one day and he heard some guy just like, oh boy, oh boy. As soon as my number comes in, I'm gonna put up tall buildings with my name on them. <laughs> I'll have fine golden hair. <laughs> and a TV show where I fire people with my children. <laughs> Trump was just like, that is how I will live my life. Thank you, Hobo, for that life plan. <laughs>